Hello, good evening, welcome to another video. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk to you about the brand new course that I've produced uh, and I'm promoting at the moment. It's called Philosophy as Therapy. Uh, I'm calling it PAT for short. Uh, and it's due to start on Tuesday 23rd of February, if I remember correctly. I shall be circulating the date for it soon. Uh, my view about the entire thing is it's probably going to work. We're going to run uh, uh, because we seem to have started to recruit at least a core group of people. But please, if you're interested in signing up, please sign up for it. Uh, and I am going to tell you a little bit about it in a minute. In a minute. The course costs uh, 50 UK pounds. Uh, uh, and uh, I, that if you int are interested, that covers the entire duration of the course, all 10 consecutive weeks uh, via Zoom. Plus also there is a background learning uh, platform that you can take part in, which gives you extra material, including videos of this sort, and extra reading material and a way of, of, uh, 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 of self-assessing your own progress as you go. So. You get added value when you sign up. Uh, you can also sign up for the uh, uh, learning platform on its own without taking on board the Zoom meetings if you want to study in your own time, in which case the cost is 35 UK pounds. Get back to me again if you want that, uh, uh, want that option. But before I go any further, you probably want to know exactly what the course is all about. Well, it comes up from an idea I had some continuity considerable time ago I was uh, teaching uh, uh, some philosophy on the work of, of Ludwig Wittgenstein, famous Austrian and then English philosopher, lived in uh, the UK for most of his life and also lived in the northeast of England uh, during the wartime period. Uh, and I was interested in the fact that uh, there had been an influence of his philosophy upon the way in which therapists had operate, they operated. There was a small group of, uh, of therapists who took Wittgenstein's philosophy as a means of uh, working with people and helping them with their various issues. And their approach was largely one in which they looked at the way in which individuals used, their, used the language they spoke. In other words, looked at how people talked about themselves about, the, about other people and about the world and looked at the way in which they formed a kind of worldview based upon their language and how that could cause a degree of stuckness for them, that their lives were held up by various misconceptions about themselves and about the world around them and that the analysis of the, analysis of the use of their language was a really important business of how therapy could operate. So. Uh, the Wittgenstein approach was always very fascinating to me, and I thought, well, maybe there is something of that in virtually every single um, philosophical movement. That to a certain extent, philosophy has always attempted over the past two and a half thousand years, during which recorded philosophy has, has existed, uh, has always attempted to find some way of finding a way of living for people who normally would uh, would have find the world a, a troublesome and difficult place. So I thought, why don't we investigate this very issue through a course, which could be useful to people who are already involved in, in therapeutic work, who want to look at the way in which philosophers have approached psychology, social behavior, uh, uh, ethics, and the way in which people relate to one another, and the way they conceive of society being built. So that may have some support for people who are therapists. It could also have a lot of help for those who are going through this long period of lockdown and you know, isolation during the pandemic of uh, 2020, 2021, and are looking for a way of both finding a new interest to pursue and some way of dealing with the world around them in a way that, that, that's been resourced from the great philosophers of the past. So this course came out of this. It's not an attempt to train therapists. It's not that. 
uh, it's not an attempt to give you therapeutic answers. It's a way of investigating philosophy in such a way as to provide you with a framework from which you might find some helpful advice from the ancients and the moderns, as you might say, in philosophy, and perhaps find some extra, um, or extra way of looking at the world around you which may have, you may find useful in, in dealing with the issues that are cropping up on, from day to day, both in terms of, of our isolation and our relationships with other people, but also the world that we hope to return to at some stage or other. We've been out of this now for quite a long time in this, in this state of social isolation. When all that ends, you know, we need a, a good philosophy to start off from. And I'm not going to present you with an answer. What I'm going to do is present you with a number of answers, probably something like 10 of them, <laughs> which hopefully will provide you with a way of conceiving of, 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 of the world in multiple different perspectives and hopefully giving you some interesting and useful tools with which to con uh, you know, confront maybe your own issues, as I have. I found philosophy as a subject really useful. It's a really useful way of looking at the world. It's, it's a way of gaining a certain degree of, uh, the word I use is sanity. I don't mean sanity in the sense of the psychological sanity. I mean sanity in the sense of cleanliness almost. An opportunity to pause and to think, which is rational, uh, which is calm, and which is collected, and which provides a framework inside which a certain degree of of, of sane cleanliness about one's thinking becomes possible. It may not be for you, but I hope the course will introduce some of those sorts of ideas. In order to under, in, understand that this. You need to understand also what philosophy is to start off with. Philosophy, in, tr in all truth, is not a body of knowledge. It is not a bunch of principles that you have to adhere to. It is not a, a lot of facts and ideas that you have to commit to memory. Philosophy is a method. It is a way of doing things. And the various sessions that we're looking at, we'll be looking at the various approaches or ways of doing things that philosophers have approached in the past. So this is not me sitting there and saying, this is what you should be doing. This is not giving you advice about how you should run your life. In fact, I'm not even going to say to you, this is how Plato said you should run your life, or this is how Aristotle said you should bring, run your life, or this is how uh, uh, Confucius said you should run your life. What I'm going to be saying to you is, at the end of the day, is these methods were derived from certain basic principles and you may find those approaches and ways of doing things useful uh, uh, as part and parcel of your everyday consid consideration of the problems you are approaching. So it's a kind of subtle approach, I hope. Um, it will be a, 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 on Zoom, it will be a real opportunity for you to sit down and not just hear about these ideas, but also to talk about them too, to talk about them from your own perspective, to find out things that are useful to you and the things that are not. The things that you already knew, which have been uh, encoded in philosophy down through the ages, and also to, to take a, a, a bit of time off for yourself to be able to chat with other people, like-minded people, whom you may find fascinating and, and useful. Uh, and me. <laughs> me on Zoom. So there we have it. That's really what this course is all about. Content. Well, we will be looking at the ancient Greeks. We will be looking at Oriental philosophy. We'll be looking at aspects of that. Uh, Taoism, Buddhism, Confucianism probably will, in passing, crop up uh, on a, at a, at a, uh, throughout the whole process. We will be looking at Wittgenstein, of course, because he's really important in all of this. We'll be looking at some of the philosophy in the, in the, in the, from the Enlightenment and also from modern masters uh, who, have been in, who have produced a great deal of interesting work, which are, are probably of use to, I think, just about anybody. I'm also going to introduce a little bit of psychology from the famous uh, 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 Nobel Prize winning uh, psychologist Daniel Kahneman as well. So, you know, there are bits and bobs of everything in there. And uh, hopefully you will also be able to contribute by suggesting topics that we could cover in another course later on if you are so interested. If you think this might be a, an interesting course to do, there are 
please do pass the news on to other people. Direct them to me. Send them to, them to drop me a, an email at my email address, vgroves at gmail.com. That's V-E-A-G-R-O-V-E-S at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. Just for those who want to get me to spell it. Uh, 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 pass the news on. Uh, we can always take on new students. Uh, I'm improving and developing the added value for this course all the time without changing the price. So you, you, all, you, all you will ever get is more for your money and never less. And also, I hope it will be something which uh, will be highly enjoyable and great fun to do. It's a new venture for me. I've usually done this as part of the work I do with learning organizations. So this is an all new uh, activity for me in this particular case. Um, as I said earlier on, all you really need to have really is a, 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 a computer or a tablet or a mobile phone that's got a camera and a microphone built into it and you can take part. And if you don't want the Zoom sessions, well, all you need is a computer in that case. Please also note that this particular course is, is really meant in some respects for those who speak English because I only speak English, so at the end of the day, if, if English is not your first language and your English is not very good, then you may find it a bit of a bit of a problem. But I will try in, in, in later courses to get around that issue by providing multilingual approaches, not necessarily through Zoom, but through other through other approaches as as we go along. Um, I think that's all I need to say about it for the moment. Thank you for listening to all of this. Uh, if there's any questions you've got for me, please get in touch. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all on uh, February 23rd. Thank you, and bye-bye for now. <laughs>